Hey guys, it's Doc from the Gold Hog, and I figured I'd just drag you along today. I'm going to be doing two things. Number one, we're moving our dredge crew way up on a creek into an area that we really haven't explored. So this should be interesting, and it did turn out interesting, I'll tell you now, because we found this big S-turn corner that I call Crushing Corner. And I call it Crushing Corner because we're finding so much fine gold up there. I mean, it's just absolutely packed with 50s, 100s, 150s, 200s, super, super fine gold. And we're running the big dredge up there, and it's doing a great job catching the stuff. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to the commercial operation up there, um, up at Golden Gems, and I'm retrofitting that with a new mat configuration because their system really runs like a dredge. They, uh, the rocks that they run through are not waste product, they're actually byproduct because they sell some of the gravel, plus they have gems up there, so they can't discard it. So they actually have to have the rocks go through their system, and gold is just one of the byproducts of their operation. So it's kind of interesting. I actually put sort of a dredge configuration into their commercial sluice, and it runs really well. Um, we run a test on it, and I'll show you that too. So hopefully you'll have some fun. Okay guys, I'm going to take you on a little learning lesson here, but this is this is a really cool corner. We call this the S the S turn because it really turns really sharp. But you can see these gravel bars in here, and I'm going to show you the erosion further up here, but I'm going to show you something about this corner. Now, this is not man-made. <laughs> this is amazing. This is such a good lesson to learn from. This is the way we found this. We haven't touched it. We walk up on it. We're actually throwing some gear up on this big, this sharp, sharp, sharp turn. But what I want you to see about this pile is I want you to look at the back of it. Okay, the back of it is all sand. Now, as we start to go around the front of this, as we start to go around the front of this, look what happens. All of a sudden, this starts to turn to gravels. So you got that? So now we're into gravels. So without me taking a swim here, you can take a look at this, and this corner comes in and just completely turns, does a U-turn. But you can see that as it comes across here, once it, the water hits this point, this is a, a, a low pressure or a stopping point, or, or it's just an inside bend, really. You have all your heavy stuff will drop right here. So you can see that I've got gravels here, but as we go around on this, it becomes sand. And this is huge up here. And this is mammoth. But it's a real good lesson to learn. This really shows you how... This is a, a real good view on on an inside bend, at the front of that inside bend, how the heavy stuff wants to drop. As soon as it can, it wants to drop out. And then as we come back here, you can see that it turns to sand over here. It's just amazing. This thing, we came out a few months ago and it was only about up to here, and now it's way up to here. It's a really cool corner, but, now this isn't California and this isn't Alaska. If you walk up any place in Georgia and you take a pan full of, of stuff and you pan it out, you, won't, you, you may have to go through 30 pans before you find a color. But on this corner, every time I've come up here, I just did it today, I grabbed a little handful of the front. I've got a bunch of black sand in my pan and I had five colors. One pan. And every time I come up here, and take gold out of this area, or take dirt, I'm getting five to ten colors in every pan up here. Now for us, it, it's mostly fine stuff, of course, it's flood gold. So for us, we're, yeah, we'll probably run some of this corner, we'll come to the inside bend of this corner, but we're really looking for larger gold. We want to catch the fine stuff, but it's that larger stuff we're looking for. We're looking for that old, old dead president gold, if you've ever seen that video. We're looking for the gold that's down on the bedrock that's been there hundreds, thousands of years. So, you know, that's really what we're looking for. But I wanted to show you the other side of this bank and the erosion on it. 
and you can see that this creek here has moved over this way over time. <clears throat> but you can see all the erosion up in here. I mean, this creek has moved a good 20 feet, you can tell. It's just completely eroded back in there. Now, I really want to go down in here. That's some beautiful looking stuff down there. It's just full of cobbles all down in here. Nice deep channel. So I, we're going to come, we're going to run this area all through in here too. All down this center line. And we'll probably come over. We, we can only deal with so much sand, but we're going to come over this way too. But again, here's that soft hillside. And then you can see all the gravel piles down there. As, it, as that water comes around here, you have that inside bend and it's gravels all through in here. Pretty cool. Right, guys well we just shut down I'm gonna go ahead and show you and you can see that again up at the top this mat gets really bare I mean there's really not a lot of black sand up there and then as you come down the more you come down you'll have more and more even and then when you get towards the back here we'll have a lot of black sand so I've got a lot of black sand behind these riffles but what's interesting you might think that's good and I'm sure it is but we find very little gold down here most of our gold is up here in these in these spots that look pretty bare. So anyways, I wanted to show you that this is a lot like the commercial op setup we did. Um, I'm going to put this, I'm just going to drop this down here real quick so you get an idea for it. But our water enters here, hits an interruption point. And then this is a quarter inch perf with bolts holding it about three quarters or an inch off the mat. And then we have a separate section. This is about 50% open area and this is about 60% open area. And we have two separate pieces over the top, which is nice. But I wanted to show you that. It's a lot like the commercial op setup we did. Okay, so I'm continuing my little lesson about uh, that inside bed thing. And the guys came out here and they picked a spot and they were behind. Let me show you where they were. They were actually behind this sort of stump over here and they were dredging back over in here. And I want you to look at the difference of the tailings piles. Okay, so here are the tailings piles here. And you can see that it's almost all sand. Well, maybe you can see it. But it's all sand. Okay, very, very little rock. This is just all sand in here. Now, and the run was like crap. It was a, one of our worst runs of the year. So now I want to come over. If I don't fall, I need to get covered. Now I'm going to come over and yesterday's last run, which was a good run, decent gold in it. Now I want you to look at the tailings pile from yesterday's run. And what you'll see is, is you'll notice that it's full of these rocks. So it's full of gravels. And that's one thing I'm trying to teach them is that wherever you start to see those gravels drop or you're running gravels, you're going to probably see a lot more gold and bigger gold than you are versus that sand stuff. Even though it's maybe on an inside bend, you still want to go towards the gravels. So, gravels, lots of gravels, lots of rocks, good gold, all sand, basically all sand, crappy gold. Good lesson to learn. But I wanted to show you this. So here's the creek over here, and here's when it floods, it gets real high in here. But look at this beautiful gravel right in here. If I was running a high banker, I'd be in here digging this. This is just gorgeous stuff.
Hey guys, I got a long walk out and I figured I'd shoot some stuff while I'm walking out to show you real quick. But first of all, those are some trees you do not want to dredge under. They are just rotten. Those are cool looking though. You can see all that bamboo. Alright, so this is one of the walls I want to show you. Those stone walls right there, we think they're back probably, we're thinking those little stone walls, because they're really just property marker walls, stone walls. We think that they're back to probably late 1800s. And they just run all the way down there. They're really cool. Okay, and this will show you how a creek moves right in here. As you can see that stone wall. That stone wall goes along, it's going along, it's going along. And all of a sudden you hit an inside bend and look at it, it's collapsed. So you can see the stone wall is up here. And then it collapses down in and as you go along and down over here, they're all it's all collapsed in over here. So it's moved all the way across there, but that's really cool. Hey guys, I know this is kind of weird, but I'm uh, at the truck. I just walked back. And man, it's a good half mile back in there. That's a walk there. But anyway, it's starting to drizzle out here. It's a little bit cool. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that lesson about that sandbar up there. And I hope you learned something about maybe setting up a uh, mat configuration if you've got a big dredge. But I'm getting ready to go back to the camp because it is just nasty out here. Look at all these waders. But we're going to come out next week. But I want to let you know we're going to come out next week and we're going to film some. Uh, I plan to shoot about three different runs on that dredge. Plus, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a new mat video that breaks out all different mat configurations for almost every type of equipment. So I'll be doing that in a couple of weeks too. So. But I wanted to finish this up so I could get out of here and go get something something warm to eat. Hey guys, I'm actually uh, I'm actually back here and at the camp, and this is interesting. This is um, some of the cons. Now I've got a five-gallon bucket full of this stuff. It weighs about a hundred pounds, and these are from that upper area that we just started running where I showed you that big sandbar that big S turn and what's interesting about this is the cons have changed the, all the sand is very very light lots of quartz sand in here but look at all the black garnets in here that's the, that's the amazing part to me on this as you can see them as I sort of pan it off you can see all those garnets in there see them all in there that's amazing now the other thing is this corner holds a ton of super super fine gold and I'm going to show you what I mean we're not finding the big chunky stuff we're finding a ton of super fines in here and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to I'm going to get some of it and just show it to you here in a sec okay so I did that pan this is about now I've got a five gallon bucket of this stuff full and this is um, about a this is about a big handful and I want you to look at that there's just a ton of fine gold in there and there's stuff in there you really can't see Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip. We had a good time. Even though it was a little bit cold up there, we had a good time. And uh, we're going to be coming out with a new mat video too pretty soon, so stay tuned.